Good morning guys, welcome to episode two of house updates making over my house i still don't really know what to call this series i am literally so tired this morning i feel like i'm still jet lagged from new york i'm half asleep as it is it's currently 8 a.m um i've had to get up early this morning just because i've actually got a really exciting delivery coming today it should be here anytime now but yeah this is actually my first time seeing the house since i've got back from new york i'm pretty sure my mom and dad have been doing some bits and bobs whilst i've been away because I feel like literally as I was going, so many things started getting delivered, so many things started happening. Um, obviously my carpets got fitted, so I'm gonna show you guys my carpets and stuff today. My beds got delivered. Genuinely don't know what I would have done without my mum and dad so far throughout this process. Like my dad especially has done so much. I think he's actually fitted the flooring on my second floor as well. But I'm excited for this video especially because I think this video we're gonna see things kind of come together a bit so i did actually return the sofa um i saw so many comments on my last vlog about the sofa that i picked out for my house which was obviously the blue sofa i know a lot of you weren't a fan of it i wasn't a massive fan of it either and do you know what i like i appreciate the comments and the opinions because i feel like i need help on this process like deciding things that are right and things that are not right um but i know a lot of you weren't a fan of it obviously as i said i did have it returned so it was actually returned the day that I went away and somehow by a miracle I've managed to find a sofa that is getting delivered today so I am actually gonna have a sofa for Christmas which is really exciting because I was looking for like like a week literally non-stop and i felt like i just could not find one that was going to get delivered in time i've actually got a sofa from the sofa club i saw a couple of people suggest the sofa club on my last video and i don't know why i didn't think to look there i feel like i had looked at the sofa club when i was like first buying my house like months ago um but i just couldn't find anything that i really love but when i last checked obviously when i returned my last sofa um they've actually recently brought out a new design that i really really loved so fingers crossed it's gonna come today well it's gonna come today but fingers crossed i really like it and it can stay and i've got my sofa sorted and it's all done i've gone for a creamy white I've gone for a white sofa because, do you know what, I was like not going to get a white sofa because obviously they're a little bit more, you have to be a little bit more careful with looking after them, but I'm just like, do you know what, it's fine. It was far cheaper than anything I was going to buy. It was way cheaper than the loaf sofa, which realistically I was never going to get anyway because it was just so expensive. And I have also got the fabric protection with it. So fingers crossed it comes today and I love it and it's perfect. My mom did actually go into the traffic center whilst I was away um, to check like the swatch of it and she said that she thought it was really nice and it'd be fine but yeah i'm excited i can't believe i've somehow managed this i've somehow managed to get a sofa literally delivered as i get home i need to go shopping and get some like bedding and stuff i feel like i've ordered all my big furniture but i've not got things like pillows um like duvets stuff like that so i think i might go shopping at some point today i think mel's gonna come over today as well and see the house um which is really exciting she has already popped over once before i'm excited i think i'm gonna head inside anyway because i've literally been sat in the car for like 10 minutes now and i know my dad's already inside so we're gonna go in we're gonna see what the updates are and yeah get on with the day okay i've just been unboxing some parcels that have arrived since i've been away also sneak peek she does have a rug in this room now um i'm gonna show you what i've done in here in a second but we have some new case to fi cases which i'm so excited about you guys know case to fi are hands down my favorite phone cases that i have um currently at the minute i have this one on here is this the delivery man for me hiya <laughs> be right back yeah this is the one i have on at the minute it's this really cute like red case but in a nutshell always have a case to five phone case on my phone cannot recommend them enough they have such good drop protection which is one of the things that i really love all of the designs are super cute the ones that i've got to show you guys today are actually brand new cases from the case to Fi. these are the like faux leather cases they've brought out firstly the leather is as i said a faux leather so it's cruelty free and um, these are also biodegradable which i think is super cool so this is the black one that i've designed um, as you can see it has this strap here which is really cute this also doubles as a phone stand which i think is a really cool feature so you can literally like prop this up 
like so and like put it on a table if you want to watch like a film or whatever on your phone you can also customize them with these charms which i really love so i got a h it's upside down i got a hrh on mine which is my initials and um, you can get these charms in different colors as well i'm pretty sure my chocolate case might have gold charms that is so cute okay so this is the chocolate with the gold charms so i wanted to get like a different mix of each so this is obviously black with the black charms and then this is brown with like it's kind of like a matte gold color um it's also like a little bit ripped in the texture which is really nice so yeah obviously super handy because it does you can like use these as a strap so you can like keep hold of your phone really well things like this i always think make really nice gifts for christmas as well obviously i got charlie one for his birthday and another thing that i really love is everything in case defy or every order that you place with case defy comes in recycled packaging so super eco-friendly as i said the cases are biodegradable as well which is really cool and you can get all sorts of different like charms on here they do have like hearts as well i'm pretty sure i just got letters on mine so yeah that is what it looks like with the black case on it's me and rach there on my background but yeah i just wanted to show you my new cases i do have a discount link for you guys as well so i'm going to pop that on the screen here and i'll also put it in the description bar down below if you want to pick anything up yourself saves you a little bit of money um i do feel like they're a decent price for what you get as well like you definitely pay for a good value phone case and my phone has literally never cracked never broken i'm not even joking the amount of times I dropped my phone in New York, I can be quite klutzy with my phone anyway, but I just kept dropping it all the time in New York. And every time it happened, like me and my boyfriend would laugh about it because would it not be for a good case? Like my phone would be smashed to pieces. So yeah, definitely recommend them. But anyway, I have been doing some bits and bobs around the house. My sofa arrived literally as I came in. So that's why I've not really like vlogged tons since I've got here. It's now like 12 o'clock, so it's been a few hours. Was very unsure about it when it first got here. I'm gonna show you guys what I've done with the space now. I feel like now I've put like a rug down and I've just done some things with it. It's like getting there. Um, the sofa itself, I actually really like. It's just quite big. I think it's all right. I think it was just a bit of a shock compared to the last sofa because it was a fair bit smaller. So anyway, this is the sofa that I've picked from the sofa club. Okay, so this is how it's looking. Um, I have put some cushions on. I got some darker cushions and this throw here, which I'm not gonna lie, I don't, I'm not a huge fan of the color of this throw. I feel like it needs to be um, a different tone. It's quite pinky, which isn't actually picking up on camera, but I feel like it needs to be a bit more taupey like the cushions. Um, but this is the sofa the second time round. How are we feeling about it? Because I'm not going to lie, I was unsure when it first came, but it is growing on me. I think it's just weird seeing it fill up so much space. Like, it is pretty big. I mean, I still have a decent amount of space here. Obviously, the tree's here at the minute, but I feel like when that's not there, I'll probably get, like, a little unit or something that's, again, like, a darker... Maybe like something similar to this. I do actually really like the fabric and things of it. Obviously, this is more of like a creamy sofa as well, um, which I feel like does suit the room better. I do want to paint the walls because I feel like the contrast of like the sofa and the walls, like there just needs to be something there. Um, I'm thinking about getting a Dulux paint that I've seen, which is called like Natural Hessian. It looks very cream and very white in here at the minute. Um, and just like a little bit stark but i feel like if the walls were painted it would look more cozy and more homey because obviously this rug is cream in my head i was gonna get like a black coffee table to go here like nothing too big because i feel like this obviously has taken up a fair bit of room it's this footstool as well like guys this is a footstool and it's literally big enough for me to sleep on. It is huge. <laughs> um, it was a little bit annoying actually because it arrived and there are some scuffs on it. So I think they're going to send someone out if I do keep it just to clean that up. But again, this is the thing with having a cream sofa. Like it does stress me out a little bit <laughs> because I feel like it might get destroyed. But what are we thinking? What is everyone's thoughts? I do prefer this one to the last one. Part of me is worrying that it's a bit too big for the room. 
But I'm like, when there's some frames on the walls, when I've painted, like when I've done more things. Oh, I've also put this lampshade up, by the way, um, which is from Maid. Again, a little bit unsure about this at the minute because it has this like copper lining, which is actually very copper. But yeah, I feel like once there's some frames on the wall, once I've painted, once I've done some more bits and bobs, I feel like it'll be okay. And do you know what? It is a comfy sofa and it was a lot cheaper than anything else I was looking at. But yeah, we're going to assess that. We're going to keep that there for now. I need to like do some tidying up in here because it is looking absolutely chaotic. Um, I've also put my bed up upstairs. I may as well show you like the carpets and things. Okay, so this is the second, mm, second first floor, the first floor up. <laughs> um, this is the flooring that my dad has put down. Do you know what? He's done such a good job. Like my dad has never laid floor before and he's done such a good job of it. So I've gone for like a darker laminate in here because this is going to be like an office and a living space. Um, so I think I'm going to get two sofas here maybe, <laughs> more so for debacles. Um, but I'm thinking I'm gonna get like a dark greeny, velvety sofa and maybe some like creamy armchairs opposite or something like that. Need to figure it out a little bit but I've gone for a darker laminate in here just so it's something a bit different in the house. I feel like darker floor is just a nicer contrast with the white as well, like the white walls. So I feel like with some nice sofas, a desk, like a proper workspace in here where I can sit and edit, um, like a rug or something. Like I feel like this will be a really nice, cozy, like more formal living space. And then through here, we've got carpet in this room now, which is really exciting. I say exciting, like there's so much chaos going on in here. Um, but this is the carpet I've gone for. I, I wanted to get like a darker grey in here with this being a guest room. This is the bed that I've picked out. It's like a really nice charcoal suede. I actually really like this. Like I like the colour of it as well. Um, I got this from e -Sup U Supper Save. <laughs> I'm not actually too sure how to say it but it's where I've got all of my beds from from home for like the past five years or something they're really like pretty simple to assemble they're ottoman beds and they're super affordable like i think this bed was like 240 pounds which for an ottoman bed that's like decent quality because i've had these for years and they've always served me like really well um i feel like yeah it'll be perfect for this room so that will go here i've got some little tables to go in here as well and i do also want to paint this room at some point, but for now, I feel like the white walls will do. I'll definitely put some like prints up and stuff like that. And then we come upstairs, up the stairs, and we come into my bedroom, which this is by far the room that I'm most excited about at the minute. I feel like I just know I'm going to love this room. Like, I already love it so much, and all it's got in it is carpet and a bed. This is my master bedroom so far you'll have to excuse the stuff on the floor there's like bits on the windowsill as well um but i went for a creamy carpet in here which am i gonna regret that who knows it is actually like bleachable and cleanable um so it should be fine and then this is the bed that i picked out for this room <laughs> don't mind this mattress at the minute i got an emma mattress and it is taken a short while just to like puff up um it literally looked so sad when we got it out of the packaging my dad was like what is this and i was like it's fine it's gonna expand um because it was like rolled up but i'm just waiting for it to like fully do its thing this is the bed that i picked um i got this bed from loaf i'm literally so in love with it like i love it so much i got a i think it's called the pillow talker bed and i got it in oyster white um, I just wanted this room to be like really creamy and cozy. <laughs> like that's what I wanted to do with it. I've also put a lampshade up here, which is from Made. It's actually the same lampshade that I have at home, but it's the bigger size. I have got bedside tables and things come in, but I think they're gonna be maybe another week. And then we are gonna put a TV on the wall here. I can't remember if I mentioned this in my last video, but I know like one or two people said about having the bed this way as opposed to that way because obviously you walk into the room here but you just get a far nicer view like looking out from the bed that way as opposed to the other way like out of the window so I decided to go with it this way I mean worst comes to worst I can always change it because I feel like yeah for walking into the room it'd be better if the bed was this way and we had the tv there but now I think it should be fine um it's a king-size bed and it's, it doesn't actually like look as big as I thought it was gonna look 
if that makes any sense. For some reason, I thought it was going to fill the room like a lot more than it has, but yeah, I really, really love it. I love the color. I love the color of the carpet in here. It's just so like cute and creamy. And then my wardrobe room is still looking chaotic. And this is the next debacle because my dad thinks that I shouldn't get the wardrobes that I want for this. He's worried that it's going to fill too much of the room because um, I've basically planned to have a whole set of wardrobes here and then they come up to like, I don't know, like this part of the wall, like just a little bit past the light. He seems to think that it's going to take up too much of the room. I'm kind of like, the purpose of this room is to be a wardrobe room, so I don't feel it matters too much if it takes up too much of the room. But it's one thing that I'm now stressing about because it's all good and well. Ordering like the wrong sofa is fine because that's so easy to return, but you can't return Ikea furniture. Do you know what I mean? Like I can't return an Ikea wardrobe once it's built. Um, <laughs> so I'm a little bit undecided what to do about that. I've designed it on packs, like the custom wardrobe thing. It would literally be wardrobes across this wall and across this wall up to about there. But I don't know, part of me is like the purpose of this room is to be a wardrobe room. So I'm like, does it matter too much about having a lot of floor space? I don't really know. There is gonna be a desk here for me to do makeup as well. So yeah, it probably wouldn't leave me with like a ton of floor space here, but I'm like, does it matter? I don't know, I need help on that. Anyway, that is all my updates for now. I think I'm going to do some bits of tidying. Um, I'm gonna do some makeup because I'm going for lunch with Millie, which I'm so excited about. I've not seen her in a few days since I've been away. We'll rest it on this one, and you'll have to keep holding it, yeah? While I turn that one around. And that will just sit on it. Oh, snap it down me. Get cross like you won't snap this one. Got a little visitor. A little stowaway. Living in my TV. <laughs> Good morning, guys. It has been a very busy weekend. I feel like I severely underestimate how long certain things take. Um, I've not actually vlogged like tons this weekend just because me and dad have been doing a lot of like bits and bobs that aren't probably the most interesting things to watch. Um, I did film some clips yesterday. It's currently Monday today. I did actually want to get this video up last night, but there's not as much in it as I want there to be yet. And I'm hoping to get some more stuff done today that I can show you guys. It's just me at the house today. Dad's obviously working as it's now Monday. But we had such a busy day yesterday. We were basically getting the doors like basically in a state to be able to be popped back on because as all of you know I had no flooring when I moved into this house or I say that I've not even moved in yet when I got my house no flooring in here so now that flooring has started to be fitted like the carpet the laminate and stuff the doors were basically too low to go back over the flooring like they wouldn't fit back on the hinges so my dad has been planing them, I think is the correct term. Um, I was helping him do it yesterday. It was a faffy job, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Some of them, well, this one especially, we had to take this one off in the guest room three times. Like it had to be done three times because we just didn't take enough off like each time. So obviously a tricky thing to do because you don't wanna take too much off the bottom of the door. Um, but then we just weren't taking enough off, so we'd have to like take it off, put it back down, resand it, saw it, whatever, and then get it back on. And these doors weigh a ton. Like I actually really love all of the doors in my house. I feel like they're really, I don't know, they just look really pretty, but they weigh a ton. So we were absolutely shattered by the end of the day, but we've managed to get them all back on. So that's basically what I mean. Like they all now shut over the carpet, which is perfect. Obviously there's still no carpet in here yet this is getting done at the start of january so just having to make do with it for now which is fine i've also been masking 
in here because my dad obviously took all these skirting boards off when he fitted this floor in so I've been um, masking down just so that they can be painted again I do actually need to fill these holes today where he's like um, put some nails in with the nail gun slowly but surely coming together um, today I've set myself a few jobs to do that I'm hoping I'm going to be able to get done in a day First one being this bed. Um, I have built these beds before, as I said earlier, I've had a couple of these beds before, so I'm hoping it's not gonna be too difficult for me to do on my own. If it is, and I start struggling, then I'll just do what I can, and I'll wait for my dad <laughs> to help me with the rest of it. Upstairs is looking a little bit more put together as well. My bedroom is slowly coming along, which I am actually hoping to stay here. Um, maybe on Christmas night? I'm not too sure yet. I do want to kind of stay this week. I can't believe Christmas is this week. Sorry, like, is anyone else like this? I, I'm going through phases at the minute of feeling Christmassy and then not feeling Christmassy. I feel like at the minute, I just can't wrap my head around the fact that Christmas is Saturday. I'm not even remotely organized for it, which is a whole other thing. So we've got the door back on in here now. We've also got this one done, we had four of them to do total. The laminate ones weren't too bad because obviously laminate's not too thick and doors go over it a lot easier. It was the carpet more than anything because the carpet I've got is quite thick. Um, but my bedroom is coming together. We also put my TV up uh, last night. That again <laughs> was a bit of a struggle because I'm uh, just trying to like figure out the wall mount and stuff with where the plugs are. The plugs were put pretty central to the wall, so we were trying to make sure that everything would plug in and be fine. But it's up there now. Um, I'm still unsure what to do with this space. If anyone has any suggestions, any ideas, I was thinking initially in my head, I was gonna put a dresser, like a wide chest of drawers underneath here, and then maybe like a little armchair. I do wanna put like a mirror up in here, like somewhere, like a full length mirror. Um, my dad was saying about putting wardrobes either side, which is definitely an option. I mean, I'm going to have wardrobes in this whole room, so I'm not super fussed about having wardrobes in here. I think I'd rather keep this space a little bit open because I probably won't need the additional storage, but I do want to kind of like do something with this wall because obviously at the minute it's literally just my bed and the TV. So any suggestions are welcome. Got some stuff in here for the loft. I also want to try and build my cabinets for the bathrooms today. I'm not going to be able to put them up. I wouldn't trust myself to do that and to drill them into the wall, but I'm going to try and get them ready for my dad to do it. And then, yeah, this is how the bed is looking. I literally love it so much. I can't wait to get some pillows and stuff. Actually really excited because I'm getting a big parcel from John Lewis today with all of like my duvets and um, cushions, like pillows. I've got bedding, but I didn't buy like actual duvets and stuff. So I might try and make this bed up later because this room is pretty much done now, except for the blinds, which is a whole nother thing. I was actually really annoyed yesterday because I ordered blinds. Obviously that was one of the first things I got because without blinds, like I can't really stay here. Like for, I don't know, just waking up in the morning, also getting changed, like just the whole privacy aspect, like everyone needs blinds or curtains. And I ordered blinds, um, from a website that we've always got our blinds from, so like I knew they'd be fine, but whoever delivered them has absolutely ruined them because they just got dumped in the back garden and I wouldn't mind, but I was actually in at the time, so I was waiting for these blinds to be delivered. The delivery guy had like dumped them in the garden and now they're all just like scoffed and ruined. Um, so it's, I don't know, it's a little bit annoying because I'm going to have to get them replaced. Also, question for anyone that's got like a memory foam mattress or anyone that has an Emma mattress. Because um, I ordered this based off like Rach pretty much. Her bed is so comfortable and she's got an Emma mattress. So when I was getting mattresses for the house, I was like, I want to get an Emma mattress as well. Because her bed is literally one of the comfiest beds I've slept in. Question though, because like I asked Rach about this and she doesn't really know either. I feel like I've had my mattress out for a few days now and it's still looking a little bit like misshaped um like this corner especially is just very like if i undo it <laughs> like it's just still quite squished and stuff like a lot of bits on the bed are still a little bit uneven and it's probably been out for like a good few days now like is this normal for anyone that knows um because obviously it was rolled so it came rolled and like i get that it's going to be a little bit squished but is it normal to still be a little bit squished and a little bit uneven, like 
even after a few days? <laughs> I don't know if that's a really stupid question to ask, but I just feel like it's still not sat properly like on the bed. Anyway, that is out for now. Lists of jobs that I wanna do today. I'm actually going for lunch with the girls, so I need to try and get some bits done now. But I wanna make up the bed. I'm gonna try and get that done. I want to hoover and mop downstairs. I feel like such an adult now, <laughs> like these are my tasks for the day. I need to properly clean the floors downstairs. They've not had a proper clean. I wish I'd done it before the sofa came. I don't know why I didn't. I wanna try and build the bathroom cabinets if I can. And then when my bedding comes this afternoon, I wanna try and make up this room. So I think those are the jobs that I'm giving myself for the day. Um, I might nip out and do some home shopping as well. I'm so excited. Me and my boyfriend are going to the drive-in cinema tonight. We're going to, um, I think it's that, the Trafford Centre, I'm pretty sure, but we're going to see Home Alone and we're going to go shopping afterwards, which I'll have to put in the next vlog because this will already be live by then. But yeah, I want to do some home shopping. I want to just get everything looking a little bit more put together and see how much I can do because I've got my other Emma mattress that I need to just like get out and check as well. I'm thinking as well, because I've got a spare carpet from when the carpet fitters came. Like maybe if I just leave this bit here for now, like as a rug almost. What do people do with spare carpet? Like I got quite a bit of it, so I don't really know what to do with it. instructions <laughs> does anyone else do this i feel like i just start building stuff because i think i know what i'm doing without actually checking the instructions and then before you know it i'm taking the whole thing apart because it's all wrong loosen the football bolts and attach the side rails and tighten the bolts okay it's because it's an ottoman bed i feel like this could get confusing like i kind of forget what i'm doing with these oh my god i am starving this morning i'm going to Playfoots in Monton with Mads and Rach. I'm so excited. Right, can I remember how to do this? She's done it. She has done it. My dad will be watching this like, why are you using my tools? Which is the right one to use? See, this is why I shouldn't do stuff when my dad's not here. Obviously I've done something wrong. I'm so pissed off. I've literally made such a stupid mistake. Like, I can't be bothered with myself. Why do I do this? I've done these bloody screws the wrong way round and they're friggin' locking nuts. So I've just tightened them all. Can't even leave that because that's like gonna dig into the mattress. Honestly, I thought it was going so well. I was really proud. I'm not gonna lie. I literally did this wrong three times. Like after I realized I'd done those the wrong way, flipped them all around, screwed them and tightened the other way, then forgot that they were supposed to have this in the middle. So I had to redo it all again. I've had to like loosen and tighten the bolts so many times to get like the lift bits in and all sorts, but I did it! I actually built the whole bed on my own. Sorry, this might seem so silly, but like, this is the first thing in my house now that like I've done on my own, and it's a whole bed. Like, I built a whole bed. I'm actually feeling really proud of myself right now, so I'm gonna, oh my God, I've not even tried to shut it yet, wait. <laughs> Let's not speak too soon. I did it! Okay, so I think it's just a bit stiff because it's new in terms of like lifting up the storage bit because I've managed to get it down and put it up a few times. I think it's just a little bit stiff. Also, this mattress <laughs> looks so sad right now. It does need to just like puff up a bit. But that is that done. Also, just received my new handles for the kitchen. I'm not going to get them out right now because I'm not going to fit them right now. But, I mean, I'm hoping they're the right size. I think, they, I think they'll be the right size. But yeah, I've got like slim black handles to replace these silver ones so i'm gonna probably try and do those tomorrow i just got them on amazon literally so much stuff 
has just turned up. I'm not even gonna get into this right now because that bed took me way longer than I thought it was gonna take. But so many parcels have just arrived. Anyway, I'm gonna have to end this vlog here. Obviously, I'm gonna carry on vlogging what I'm doing over the next week and make it the next part of my house makeover. But that bed took me so long. It literally took hours. It's now three o'clock and I'm putting this video up at six. So I'm not gonna have any more time to put anything else in it today, but I really hope you guys have enjoyed it. Let me know what you think about the new sofa. I love it now. Now that it's been here a few days, I literally love it. It's so comfortable and so cozy. Yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, I'm thinking the next part of this series will be a little bit more going on. Like, I feel like things are finally coming together now. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed. I love you all as always. Hope you're having a lovely Christmas time. Can't believe it's on Saturday. But yeah, I will see you in the next one.